so my pump went out back it's been a while and this has just been sitting as you can see um, I really want to pull those ferns out I had already pulled some of them out but I want to do something a little different here still a water feature um, but maybe not what I'm thinking is I need to clean this out of course but I want to feel like fill it with rock and have like a rock water feature so that it might be easier to take care of um, because this just collects leaves and then it bogs down the pump um, and causes it to burn out so I'm gonna try to get these ferns out of here I'm gonna try to clear these big rock um, and then do like a rock feature where the water's bubbling up out of the rock. That's kind of my hope. I don't know how this is going to turn out. But I hope that through this process, um, as I'm learning, maybe I can give you guys some ideas for a cheap and easy water feature for your yard. Okay, seriously y'all, ferns can like grow in the weirdest places. I've dug these ferns up uh, down in the back of the property a few years ago. This one was just a teeny tiny thing, but look how it's like grown up right next to the house, right here, in nothing, like all rock. They really like rock, but there's like <laughs> hardly anything. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, this is my last one. I thought this was a good idea when I first put these here. <laughs> because it's so rocky, but now it's a total chore trying to get them out of the ground. Okay, I've like totally butchered this plant, this fern, but uh, it may come back. I couldn't get the thing out. Um, I'll plant it somewhere and see if it'll take off again next year. They're pretty hardy. This actually may not be a good idea, but I'm going to try it. Um, all these rocks that I've raked, I'm going to try to stick them on these feed bags because I couldn't find our small tarp. I got this thing at Atwoods a few years ago. It's just like a plastic um, feed thing. <laughs> I don't know, an animal feeder, so very, very inexpensive. I'm going to shovel all these rock. I'm going to stick them on these feed sacks, pull this up, clean it out, and see if I can um, get it set down in the hole a little better and then refill. My goodness gardening ain't pretty but it is so rewarding i need water there it is Whew. this has got to be seriously my favorite water it's peppermint water and i keep one of these in the fridge one of these i put one drop of this in here and i keep it in the fridge it's amazing guys and so refreshing peppermint water Hello, little guy. 
think I disturbed his home. He's not happy. <laughs> Poor thing. I'm making you a better home. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, I got the rocks up that I could. Um, now I gotta do this water. This icky, icky water. I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do yet. Now what I feel like I need to do is dig this down a little bit deeper so the bucket or the feeder thing, the plastic tub, fits in this hole a little better and maybe is more flush with the ground so I can put the rock around it and it look more natural. So that's what my project is now. I'm going to dig this hole a little deeper. So now I'm going to show you guys, I hit something, it's like a board down in here. I don't know if y'all can see. So that's as far as I'm going to be able to go, but I did dig a ways in and I tried to uh, clear out the sides. Because if the hole's a little too big, I can always backfill. So I'm going to spray off this tub and put it back in its hole and see how it fits. This is what I'm thinking now. Okay, it's been a little while. So I'm coming back to this project. I've got this cheap little fountain pump from Lowe's and then I already had this planner. Um, so I'm gonna put the pea gravel in here to surround the pump um, and then put this down in here and then level the rock up so that it's like a fountain flowing up and then landing on the rock so you're really not going to see the water my idea is it's just going to be like bubbling rock so let's see if we can do this Okay, so I cut these with the grinder because I think this is going to work really good. Um, I think we have some screen to put over the top of this so that the rock can sit here and it can still filter through. The water can still filter through to get to the bottom part and then I will put my other rock around to hide this. I think this is going to work good. So Patrick had got this roll a screen so he could fix our uh, window windows and I think it'll work really good oh, that's what it's done in there. I'm just gonna roll it out and cut some um, to have like a screen uh, uh, for the rock okay so I already see a problem <laughs> um I need 
that this to be on this part of this. So as I figure this out, <laughs> I'm going to have to maybe do another level of brick to raise it up. Take that part and put it between these right here. Put it between this so that this is sitting on the upside of this so that the fountain can come up out of the rock. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And I've got some wasp over here that just won't leave me alone. Okay, I hope this fits. Yay! It fits! Okay, we're good. We're good there. Praise God. Um, whoops, I can't move it too far. It's got to stay there. Uh, but it works. So, I'm sticking in the mud. Now I can stick the screen back over. I can find the hole that I cut. Come on. Hey, sis. Um, just like that. Yay! Looky there. Okay, it's coming together finally. So I'm going to put my rock on there, see, and it's going to press it down so that the fountain can come up. So this is going to be great. This is going to be awesome. Okay, this is what I've got done this far. Now I'm going to put some more of the pebble rock in the middle, and um, I'm going to fill in with some lava rock around the back part. Um... Fill it with water and see if this works. Boy, I hope it works. Okay, I'm gonna fill this up. We're gonna go ahead and do a test run and see if this is gonna work before I get all the other rock out. Okay, sis, flip that switch. Okay, it looks nice, but <laughs> I do see a problem. Noise. Well, besides the noise, this is gonna, the water's gonna splash out. So, we aren't able to do it as high as I wanted to do it. So, go ahead and turn it off. We got to tweak it a little bit. Oh, this has turned into a very wet, muddy mess. Um, and I'm sticking in the mud. So, the pea gravel was not a good idea. I had to take this off, and there were tiny bits of gravel in there that would have messed my pump up. So... I'm going to try it with this lava rock um, and hopefully have better success and not burn my new pump up. I have made a few adjustments in this process. This is a totally different day. Um, <laughs> it's been a journey. Okay, this is going to work better. Um, I put a different top on. As you can see, it's kind of sticking up a little more because it has the extender on it. So I'm going to reposition the rocks, get them put back on, and see if this will work better than what I had before. Okay, I'm going to plug it in, and let's see if it works. Uh, plug it in. It works. Okay. Okay. So that works. It's just falling back on the rocks, which are on the screen, which falls back into the water, and it recirculates. So you can't really see the water, and that's okay. That was the purpose. So now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do around this part. I think I'm going to try to put this lava rock down. I have some extra rock I may build up, but first I'm going to spray it off. Clean it up and go from there. It's kind of getting late in the day, so 
I don't know if I'm going to finish. I'm going to try to put the lava rock down, but I tried to hook these lights back up. I've had these forever and ever, so I repositioned them. Uh, I used to have it in the front right there, but I decided the back would be better. My plan, maybe, is to put the lava rock around the back side and then put some flowers around the front to hide that muddy, muddy mess. You guys can hear this. Patrick's doing a, some last minute mowing, trying to get some things done before it gets too dark. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Woo, okay. So the lava rock and the lights really go good together. I really like that. I gotta figure out what to do with that extension cord. I wanna do a better thing there. It's gotta be waterproof. If it's not, it'll blow. The breaker will blow every time it rains. And tomorrow, day three, <laughs> I'm going to fill all this in with dirt so that I can plant those flowers there. So that'll be the end. So we will resume this in the morning.